Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. The second order of the day is a motion standing in the name of distinguished Senator Suleiman A. Kau Sumaira on the urgent need to reverse the, con the concessioning of Malam Alim Kano International Airport, Kano. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the Secretary Senator Suleiman A. Kau Sumaira to move the motion. Senator Kau Sumaira, may I wish to move your motion? Uh, I am Suleiman Ekau Sumaila OFR, representing Kano Sao Senatorial District, uh, Mr. President from Kano. Uh, Mr. President, my dear distinguished colleague, I am here to present a motion urging the need to revert the concession of Mala Amin Kano. International Airport, Kano. The Senate notes that the Federal Executive Council on 17th May 2023 approved the concession of Malamin Kano International Airport, Kano, for 30 years to uh, Mesa's uh, American Airport Consortium. Aware that the Federal Ministry of Aviation does not own okay, does not own or run any airport in Nigeria, and that by the dictate of the uh, Governing Act of the Federal Airport Authority Fund, ownership and management of the all federal airport are fully vested in the authority. Also, aware that the ICRC procedural document text with respect to the agency that wish to concession a facility that the public entity should have enabling authority to transfer its responsibility, enabling legislative and policy framework or an administrative order to that effect. Reflect that from the combined import of the Fan Act and the ICRC procedure manual is an evident manifestation that the entire airport concession is based on an accurable faulty foundation. So there is no doubt that it is the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria Fan, not the Ministry of Aviation, that has the power to transfer its responsibility to a would be concessionaire. It is also found not the ministry which has the requisite legislative and uh, policy framework for such. One being that if the claim that is a fact, Federal Executive Council has approved the concession of Malamin Kano International Airport has any substance then the FEC has indeed been misguided in its decision, and that action cannot amount to anything than a nullity. Worried about that the rationale in borrowing and spending public money to upgrade the airport only to hand it over to foreign businesses for a period of 30 years in the name of concession. Alarm that Nigeria is receiving concession fee or upfront payment of $1.5 million, less than $2 billion, when the total amount of money that the Kano Airport is acquiring to government is $97.4 million. US dollar. Disturb that this concession is clearly dubious and the rise question on the process and what the actors stand to gain. Recall that the unions in the aviation industry embark on strike to question the integrity of the concessioning exercise. 
stressing that the concession of the airport away from Pan will necessarily cause uh, or halt the employment of the staff involuntarily. Worried that the concession by the last administration raised a fundamental question of injustice on why and a such project with a huge public investment will take place just at the end of administration, uh, end of the administration, just 12 days to the expiration of the constitutional days of the administration. Observe that the faulty gap inherent in the concession will lead to RE of low suite and thereby embarrassing the current administration. Mr. President, uh, accordingly, I am urging this uh, Senate to condemn in strong terms the concession of Malam Inkanu International Airport as it was done yeah, and it was not done in public interest. Urge the federal government to immediately cancel, revert, and revoke the concession of Malam Inkanu International Airport and urge the federal government to, if need be, review the entire exercise and give it a level playing field to all stakeholders. I so submit, Mr. President. Senator Faisal Anga, Kano Central, where, where the airport is situated. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I, was, I would first of all like to commend my brother, uh, Senator Kao Smela, for this very important uh, motion. Mr. President, I'm from Kano. I know Kano Airport serves the entire West Africa. Kano Airport was a pioneer in a airport in Nigeria. And the airport, when you visit it, you will see that uh, there's nothing to write home about because the tarmacs are not adequate enough to even accommodate some of the international flights. That's why many international flights stopped uh, using the airport. Mr. President, it is very really worrying that uh, while the airport uh, uh, is making a lot of money is accruing to the federal government, about 100 million per annum. They positioned the airport at 1 million dollars. That one is mind boggling. That is one. Two, uh, it's typical of the aviation ministry in this country. We've all heard of what happened uh, with the Nigeria Airways and so on and so forth. So, naturally, these people are like that. Uh, like uh, my colleague said, what they did is criminal, and I'm sure it is. Secondly, Mr. President, reversing or revoking this position is uh, not a new thing, because Azakuta was uh, concessioned, and uh, it is reversed and revoked, and the concessionees were paid back their money. So I think... Uh, Mr. President, we have to do something very urgently because uh, this concession, I'm sure, will use the airport and this amount of cruise to him for annum, but I'm sure he will not undertake to, to, to build another uh, terminal like we need in Kano, and I'm sure he will never spend his money to improve the airport. And the situation of the airport, in fact, we are worried about it because even cargo flights that were flying April now and then have stopped. So the airport is almost killed, Mr. President. And we want it to reverse so that the federal government can do something about the airport so that it comes back to its uh, former position being number one airport in Nigeria, servicing the West Africa region. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I commend my brother Kau for this very important uh, uh, motion. Thank you very much, my colleagues.